And we are with the uh, Chamber President Kathy Castro. Kathy, uh, the Chamber has launched a survey of uh, typhoon damage and recovery to businesses. Uh, what sort of feedback are you getting, like on a scale of one to 10? How bad is it? Oh, my goodness. I would say it's about a seven, you know, uh, I think that everybody's trying their best. We're obviously all on recovery mode. There is extensive damage, but uh, you know, businesses are trying their best to, you know, be supportive of employees, to be supportive of the uh, the community. So they're trying to uh, be open, even if they're limited hours. Uh, so yeah. So at, from the from the results of the survey, there are uh, folks that um, have reduced hours. Uh, very few are laying off employees, uh, but they're doing their best to uh, remain open. Yeah, uh, we understand that the SBA has uh, set up shop over at the FHB building in uh, Mighty, and uh, we, are under we also understand that there are a, a pretty good turnout of uh, businesses seeking help. Yes, that's correct. I know that, um, you know, th the last report I heard was that there is about um, uh, you know, a couple thousand folks, individuals, I'm not sure how many um, uh, businesses, but for sure, based on the survey that we took, there are a, a number of uh, businesses that are going to seek uh, uh, assistance from uh, SBA and from FEMA uh, due to the storm, for sure. Yeah, so Kathy, uh, we're coming off what was a three-year um, global pandemic. And now we get hit with uh, the worst storm in uh, 20 years. Um, what's the short to midterm look uh, for businesses and uh, for the local economy? It's 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 a it's a recovery. It's going to be a long recovery. We already saw that you know uh, coming out of the pandemic, we were looking maybe at the end of 2024, um, and it's probably going to uh, you know be extended out just a little bit more. I think I think you know the. The hotels have also, you know, there's damage in total infrastructure damage, uh, uh, island wide. So the government has infrastructure damage, um, our businesses, the hotel, the tourism industry. Uh, so this is this is a, a hit that was, you know, uh, it was it was physical as well as, you know, uh, a pause in in business. Right. So the pandemic caused that pause. Right. But we also have physical damages. And then, of course, we've got infrastructure issues with power and water. So uh, it's, 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 it's going to be a long road to recovery. So we're just asking, you know, everybody just to, you know, uh, do the best that we can to be, you know, a little more gentler with everybody. And, and it's really nice that businesses are and, and people out there are helping each other. We're seeing even though that there's reduced hours. And the, and the reason why they're doing that is because they, they know that people need to get home and, and take care of things at home. So. You know, um, I think that it's good that we're all working together and that's the only way that we can move through this. Yeah. And hang in there, everybody. If if Guam is anything, it is resilient. Resilient. Sure. Kathy Castro, sure. Chamber President, thanks for joining us. We'll back Thank to you guys you. in the studio.